What's going on everyone, Mr. Cornetti here and welcome to my new Redstone series and I know I've been doing a lot of series lately but this one is really going to help people because I had to help tons of people with uh, Redstone so I thought I'll teach you, teach you Redstone from the real basics like as in this is just example from how to make a T-flip flop and what it is really helpful to use like what you can use a T-flip-flop for actually. Um, I shouldn't really be showing you this because that's a sneak peek, but this is what we'll be doing today. We'll be building a nice simple redstone door. So as you can see, two comes up from the top. So there's two there, two on this side and two on that side. And that's what we'll be doing. So if we head over to our nice little redstone um, world, keep in mind I've done this video at least a good five times but I wasn't happy how it turned out so hopefully this time it turns out good alright so what you want to do is no wait firstly what you will need is sticky pistons, a redstone and a repeater and a lever that's pretty much it alright so you want to put down your two pistons your block of choice leave two spaces and then you want to put down your sticky pistons and then your block of choice again so see you have to leave two gaps or else if you don't if you let's just say you put it there that will go into that one and it will just pretty much mess it up alright so from here all you want to do is put redstone on both of the pistons put redstone there redstone there and now we'll leave it like that just for now and now you just want to make a little pathway and put a um, repeater up there and then redstone and now it should be looking like this so just one repeater redstone and then a block coming down with the redstone and now that will be hooked up so if we turn that on these two work now we have to replicate exactly to this side a nice little pathway redstone and then make sure to repair this facing this way and I'll tell you why in a second see how it powers this redstone source is powered through this side of the repeater so if you don't get what I mean if we put the repeater let's just say this way there's no redstone to power power the repeater. Um, so the easiest way to do that is face the way you want the redstone to be. So like that. I know it might sound confusing but it will help you in the future. Alright. Um, now you want to dig down like this. Well, no wait. Firstly, you want to put your building blocks where in this case I've done purple wool. And then on that you want to put a lever right there so we have to make this redstone go there without anyone seeing the redstone on top so the easiest way to do that is dig under it dig down like this and now the redstone will be coming through here so you want to put redstone there which will make this nice little square and then place that down through the little hole we made and then up through there and that is pretty much it like that will power both of them when you pull the, the, the lever <laughs> um, alright now we'll do the same to this side just make it come down like this one and then make it come down again and dig all the way down the, this side like this now you want to get put redstone here so it makes a little square so you know you got it right and make it go down and then down again just run all the way and see it will automatically connect to this one right there and now both of them will be working so if you just want a two door instead of the top one like our guide over here so if you don't want 
that's the top one coming down. The top one is mainly for three high, which makes it look even better. But that's it if you want it just too wide. That's it. Um, alright. Now what we have to do is make the top one, which is pretty easy when you think about it. You just want to get your building blocks like this. And then you want to build up one, two, three, four. Break the one underneath this one. Put a repeat off facing downwards. Just like that. And then do the same to the side facing down you can get rid of these blocks now and now put your color of choice and this is where a lot of people struggle too which is really easy when you know how to do any block because no one's pretty much going to see it and you want to get put repeaters on top of that so it will look like this and there we go and that's pretty much it all you gotta do now is just connect it to there so the easiest way is just make a nice little pathway going like this whoops can't do it like that like that and then to the redstone going down and that's pretty much it it's all connected now so once you hit it that will come down um just all you gotta do is make a wall as i've done there so I covered up the redstone, so I just used stone bricks, but it depends what building you do. Um, just put any block you want, and that is about it. Um, I hope you all enjoyed, because I had fun making it, and I had to make it a couple times, so I'm hoping this helped you out a lot. This is the pretty much the easiest way to make one of these. Um, I'm not sure if you can use anything else. Maybe you could use staircases like I've done in my other video um, on my other channel if you didn't know. Um, so that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Hit that like button if you want more. And I will leave an annotation to my um, Q&A slash update video right now so you can, if you haven't already saw it, go check it out. Uh, feel free to enter the giveaway for pretty much the Ziva Beastcraft, um, the Hunger Games kit, or there's like Optifine Cape. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the t tutorial. If you want, you can stay tuned now. I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to pretty much be doing in this series. So, for the people who want to leave now, I'll see you all next time. Just make sure you leave a like and a comment saying if it helped. So, I'm just going to like show you this while I talk. And if you're wondering, this is my next big build. Alright, so with my redstone things, I'm going to pretty much tell you from real basics to the advanced stuff. So, the reason why I'm going from basics to advanced, so when I get to the advanced stuff, you at least have an idea on what... I'm talking about so as I said earlier in the video um, I'll teach you how to do a T flip flop and what it's going to be used for I'm going to teach you all this other stuff like all these other funny names and I'll tell you what pretty much what it's for so um, that's why I'm starting at all basic so everyone understands so I hope you enjoyed because I'm going to be going in a lot of advanced stuff but for now I'm just keeping it basic so if you want just leave a comment below and just tell me what you'll need help with and I'll make a video explaining um, it has to be redstone based um, tell me what redstone stuff you want me to do next but yeah since then I'll be making another one very shortly just leave a comment on what you want me to make next if no one tells me what to make i'll just pretty much go to the next thing next basic thing and if you're still um tuning in right now thank you you are awesome and i will see you on next time don't forget to hit that like button content so yeah see you on next time bye